Here at Animal Kingdom, we're gonna go see some baby tigers on the jungle. Okay, so it closes at 5.15. There we go. Dragon. Where's the Komodo dragon? Here, dragon. Oh, there he is. He's a big fat dragon. Can you right here, look at the Can you breathe fire? I have to zoom pretty far for this guy. Breathe fire or go to Beastly Kingdom. Breathe fire. Or no, go, go to Beastly Kingdom. Oh yeah, Beastly Kingdom. Let's see now over here is some monkeys. I'm gonna have to zoom very far for him. What's he doing up there? What is this thing? It's a laser. It's a venom. Is it venomous? I don't know. Let's see. It is. I don't know. I don't want to read all that. It's a lizard. I wonder, can the bats just fly through these things? Because these are very wide. Where are the bats? Oh, yes. I see there's some over there. Oh, they're right there. There's gotta be something over here. People are crowding around. There's a hatch here in the ground. I wonder, is this for tigers to climb under and go over there to the other side? Okay, there's another one over the other side, so. Oh, there's another window over there. Yep, there's another window. Wait, are we heading for that window? Yeah, we're probably gonna go around to it. So let's go. Actually, we can't get out because we're crowded. Wait. We are now enclosed inside of a net. Yep, because we're in the bird aviary. Oh, he's sleeping. There's a, there's a bird floating in the water. Oh my, there's a bird sleeping right there. In the water. Mm. Ooh, over there, there's something. What are those? Oh wow, this bird is like really close to me. More monkeys there through that one little hole in the trees. Uh, but forget the real animals, let's go see some fake animals. And by fake animals, I mean dinosaurs. Here on Primeval World. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. a good ride but little update you see I'm actually wearing my Navi tail so I had to push it to the side for this ride oh. yeah, I got it. more dino goodness is on the way we're gonna go back in time <laughs> and now we're out and we're in line for it's tough to be a bug because everything is crowded there's not much to do and we've got an hour before our Everest fast pass begins why are our fast passes so far apart uh, the section of the tree over here is very misty and oh the Shadow is messing it up a bit of what we can actually see with our eyes. Oh, that monkey. oh monkey. I love this theater. Look up. We're inside the tree of life. Oh, do you hear those loud crickets? Yep. I'm shocked. We haven't gone to Pandora yet, but we're finally here. Welcome to the Valley of Moara. All right, the sign says 120, but you see, I've Jordan has not been with me lots of times where I experiment with, like, the weight of this ride. So by the looks of things, I would guess that this is not 120. It's probably just, like... Oh, wow, it looks very low, but the thing is, in an hour, we actually have a fast pass 
So we'll come back for that, but we're actually heading over to River Journey because we're desperately trying to find something to do. Uh, so we hopped in line for River Journey. It isn't moving as fast as it normally does, but we're pretty far in and there isn't really much else to do, so I think we're just going to stick with it. Ooh, over here they're still selling refreshments like drinks and stuff and candy vine pods and candy versions of Pandora plants. What in the world is a candy vine pod? Oh, the vine pods. You know those big, big things, those big plants, Pandora plants? Not, the not this plant, but a different one. Um, well, we go down there and loop back in, then we finally merge with the Fast Pass people, but I gotta say, it's been an hour. I was wrong. I thought it was going to be much shorter, but it was shorter than the 95 minute posted wait. Uh, but after it'll, it's time for our Everest Fast Pass, then once that ends, it'll be time for Flight of Passage. So, some goodness has happened. There's a strong smell of Pandoran chlorine, and it's good. I see, even Jordan likes it. Yeah, you're usually the one sniffing balls, but now we're smelling chlorine. Now uh, we're getting ready to set sail, so I had to rearrange my tail to be coming out of the side of me. What? So from my point of view, here's how this looks. There's a tail sticking out of your side. Oh, they're having trouble. Pandora for you. Look at my tail, my tail's glowy. Whoa, look at Jordan's coat. And whoa, look at my mountain banshee shirt. Whoa, you look very orange. Hey, I'm glow in the dark magic. Oh yeah, you're glow in the dark magic fans glowing. little piece of whiteness right there over the trees uh, it's starting to fade away but uh, I'm zooming in really far because that right there that's the peak of Everest and that's where we're heading and we're out here in the tree we just left Pandora after doing river journey we're about to go back for our flight of passage fast pass but First, we must Everest. Go ride Everest a very squawky macaw just flew over us I wonder where he's going. Uh, probably going to backstage I've been waiting all day for Everest and it's finally fast pass time so there's a lot of fast pass people because they have us dip through here, dip back, and then wow. go over there. This but doesn't seem very fast. Pass E. Jinx, you owe me a soda. Uh, then, let's see, we go over there, but they usually fast pass people do get like more priority to people in standby. <laughs> My name is there on one of the screens. I forgot, what did it say about me, Jordan? It says you're a mountaineer. Oh boy, I'm a mountaineer. You see that track flipping back there? Track on, whoop! Mr. Yeti! Oh, your band was just glowing for a second, but we came outside too quickly. Mist. Mist. Yeah, there's some mist in the air right there because... You can tell by the puddle. Oh, yep, there's a waterfall. Yep, there's a big old Everest waterfall right there. Well, uh, yeah. Why Jordan, do I look like an old man? You don't look like an old man. <laughs> What are you doing in that photo? I don't. What are you doing in that photo? I was trying to be like that, but I failed because I was looking down. Oh, uh, you needed to bring your sunglasses. Oh yeah. Where were the sunglasses? Gone, like, right off my face. Oh yeah, they probably would have. Uh, well, time to re-straighten the tail so it's not coming out of my side. Look, this here. is my favorite bit of merchandise. Here, uh, it's having some trouble focusing, but here, yeah. Yeah, see Mickey riding with the Yeti. Ooh, oh, it's a charge up. It's like a wind up. Like, Seven ninety five. Like, look, it's like a wind up thing. Like, hey, whoa. And, yeah, I just checked under it. It's actually $7.95. That's pretty low. Maybe one day we'll get that, but it's time, my friend. Well, 
It is, oh, look, Everest still there in the background, but it's time, my friends, for the mother of all animal kingdom attractions. Yep, flight of passage. And we but, were... but, listen, teleport. how are we gonna get there? Teleport. Oh, well, yeah, I guess we could just do that, okay. Three, two, one. Booyah! <laughs> Well, I think we're back. Works every time. Yep, I hear the sounds of the loud Look, crickets. The floating, oh, never mind, that's just a bunch of trees. Yep, floating mounds are behind that tree, but yep, the loud crickets clearly mean we're back. Oh, that's the right. And he cried, or as we call it, a banshee. To the Navi, connecting to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission from the Navi and in partnership with Alpha Centauri Expeditions, we can now bring this amazing experience to you. The way you'll be able to fly is by linking to an avatar that's already on the back of the Necron. Let's see how this works. We establish a link using powerful psionic amplification equipment. A human driver is connected to an avatar, which could be physically hundreds of kilometers away. When you follow our technician into the link chamber, you'll see a series of 16 link chairs. Please go to the number that matches the number you're standing on now. First, stow your gear in the storage containers on the back wall. This should include all bags, cameras, and other items, including cell phones. It's important to push them all the way into the bin. Then get onto the chair as you would a bike. Straddle the seat, step forward, and sit down. Slide your hips forward until you are against the chest pad, and then move your feet all the way forward. Wait until you're seated before you put on your flight visors. Hold onto the hand grips as shown. It's important to hold on to the hand grips at all times. After you see your back and legs, you're going to be 